you know, there's going to be a lot of students looking at this. What, what would you tell a kid today, you know, in, in terms of your own life and your life experience and why you started doing this? I started making art. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Esther Hernandez and I was born in the San Joaquin Valley, California, and I'm 73 years old. At the age of three, I fell in the mud during a family party. And when I fell in the mud, I began to sort of feel it and move it around and sort of just create different shapes and forms, even though I knew I was gonna get in trouble after. But anyway, the next day I went back and I saw that all of the sort of pushing and shoving had created these forms that continued, that were still there. And that was like a real turning point in my life uh, in terms of uh, making a mark in this world and that it would stay to some degree. So I continued exploring um, the arts all my life. And when I was a child, it was, uh, my family supported it and even though there were very few art materials around, I would draw with even charcoal from fires and what have you. Mostly drawing images of my family and my friends. So a little later on when I was getting older and uh, getting ready to move on in my life, um, the United Farm Workers were coming through our little barrio on their, and they were on their way to Sacramento. And it was at that point, which was a very emotional and turning point in all of our community in terms of uh, our sense of ourself as farm workers and the unity, the, the strength of, of coming together. But what really hit me being a young artist was I saw the, the uh, Teatro Campesino. Mm -hmm. And for me, <clears throat> sorry, I get a little emotional. It was the first time that I'd ever seen art being used for social justice, okay? So that stayed with me when I moved into the Bay Area to go back to school and just to be a general, you know, enjoy, uh, enjoying life in the city. Uh, but I also, at, at that point, uh, got involved with the Chicano Civil Rights Movement. And at that point, and even today, by just seeing this beautiful screen prints around me, we were focusing on two different areas one being murals. We didn't have access to the media. So we found walls where we could create murals where we could talk about a lot of different issues that were confronting our community. Anything you can imagine, but it was also celebrating our culture. So another part, another, another uh, art form that we chose was screen printing because it was a medium that didn't require like a lot of expensive materials. I mean, you could go that way, but in general, you could do like a very simple and expensive setup. But the beauty of it was that you could create multiples, more than one copy of whatever it was that you were printing. And that allowed us to sort of put them everywhere, announce different activities, put them in exhibitions, send them to many different places because there was more than one image. So uh, I think that's the beauty of screen printing. And this is kind of the legacy of uh, the Chicano um, art movement, which was part of the bigger picture of the Chicano civil rights movement. We were like the visual language of our community. And so I really am so grateful for Sam Coronado for opening up the doors and creating the Seri Foundation uh, to allow us to come together with a diverse Chicano Latino community that we are to tell our story. And so please come and see the show and enjoy it. I think it'll hopefully resonate on some level and more than anything, create a dialogue between all of the various communities that are here on this beautiful campus.